Guys, it's here, the moment we've been waiting for. We finally have the first official trailer for the Hawkeye Disney Plus series. We are just a few months away from this series, and I am so excited for this. If you know me, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know I love me some Hawkeye. Hawkeye is my favorite of the original six Avengers, and that right there is a very unpopular opinion but it's my opinion because you know i love hawkeye because sure it's cool like oh hulk and like captain american like they got superpowers and everything and hawkeye doesn't but that's in my opinion what makes him the coolest is because he has the bravery and the courage to go out there without superpowers completely risking his life and literally having nothing other than a bow and arrow to fight his way through this battle and that's what i think um makes him such a cool heroic character and that's what gets me excited for this series because, you know, that is one thing I'll admit that in the movies he hasn't really done much except retire like a hundred times and still come out of retirement once in t like time and time again. Uh, but he's back once again and with this series you get to really do a deep dive on the character because that's one thing like sure it's cool that Black Widow got like a big popular movie and everything like that but with a series you really get to dive deep into this character's origin see what makes this character tick and also introduce this new character his partner in crime or partner in crime fighting uh Haley steinfeld's kate bishop which is another character i'm really excited to see here as well uh but guys this trailer came out this morning uh while i was in school so that's why i'm not doing a video on it till now um don't worry, I did try to like sneak out during lunch so I could do a video on it, but that, let's just say that didn't end well. But we are here now, we are going to talk about the official trailer for the Hawkeye Disney Plusers. But first, before we get into that, check out this cool new poster that we got as well. I just love this poster. It's so different from honestly any other Marvel Studios poster we've gotten in the past because usually it's like, oh, you got a bunch of characters on the poster and that's like it. And honestly, I'm a fan of that design because you know, it shows off all the cool characters, but this is just different. This just shows New York City in all of its glory during the holidays. It even says this holiday season, the best gifts come with a bow. Of course, referring to both like a, a bow on a Christmas present and also bow as in bow and arrow. Um, so Th this is awesome. Like, it gives you all the Christmas vibes. This series premieres November 24th, the day before Thanksgiving. So, what better way to kick off the holiday season than with some Marvel Hawkeye on Disney Plus? I think that is just awesome. And again, New York City during the holidays, during Christmas time, is just. Is one of the most beautiful things. Honestly, that's something on my bucket list is that at some point in my life, I want to be in New York City during Christmas because it's just something you see in Christmas movies all the time and it just it just looks so much fun like I feel like that'd be a great experience and I'm gonna get a little taste of it with this series because it's a Christmas series oh this is just so perfect I'm so excited for this um but this series is of course based off the map fraction run from the comics probably or well actually definitely the most popular most famous Hawkeye series from the comics um I haven't read it personally I'd love to um but I've heard great things and there's going to be a lot of inspirations from this comic series to now in this Disney Plus series. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into breaking down this trailer for the Hawkeye Disney Plus series. So again, we start off, it's Christmas time in New York City. You got this building lit up with like some red, green, and white lights looking so good. And we have the reunitation. Um, I don't know if that's a word, uh, but the family reunion. Yeah, reunion. That's the, that's the word of the, the Barton family, uh, which is something that luckily they had a reunion at the end of Avengers Endgame but of course you remember at the beginning of Endgame we started off that movie with the loss of the family Clint losing every single member of his family and now we have them reunited happy once again and his daughter even says that like this is our first Christmas together in years by the way she is played by I think it's Anthony Russo's daughter of course half of the Russo brothers uh director of Avengers Endgame and Infinity War and Captain America Civil War and the Winter Soldier um so she returns from her role in Endgame once again to play Hawkeye's daughter um which is definitely really cool here as well so then we get um, just this nice interaction between the whole family. One thing I am wondering about, though, is, like, where is his wife? Because, like, you see all of his kids here, and that's great. They got all the actors back and everything. But where is his wife? Because, of course, Linda Cardinelli is an amazing actress, and she plays um, his wife. So I was, uh, 
a little concerned to see that she's not in this trailer. Did they get a divorce or something? That is something that happened in the comics. I hope that's not the case. They already went through enough in Avengers Endgame. Hopefully they're still together. Uh, but then a big thing people have been talking about with this trailer is Rogers the Musical. So it seems like in this universe, uh, there's now a musical about Captain America. Um, which I think is awesome. Again, musicals is like a big thing in New York City as well. And just like the logo and poster for Rogers the Musical is very, I think, very reminiscent of Hamilton. Um, so that's really cool. And as we see later in the trailer, it looks like we're actually going to be seeing at least part of Rogers the Musical, which honestly, sign me up. I, I'd love a whole Disney Plus special of Rogers the Musical. That'd honestly be hilarious. Uh, but then we get into our main conflict of this series where Clint Barton is watching the news and oh breaking news Somebody is going around dressed up as Ronin and of course Ronin is the mantle that we saw Clint Barton take on in Avengers Endgame So as soon as he sees this he's like oh great Well, this is my fault This clearly is somebody trying to send a message to me because he did some bad stuff in Avengers Endgame during that time down time gap of five years after the snap where he was just going around murdering people and sure there were bad guys but he probably shouldn't have murdered him and he just became this ninja assassin known as Ronin and so yeah uh now now thing his past is coming back to haunt him and that's going to be another thing we see in the series we've also heard that we're going to be seeing flashbacks to his time as Ronin as well which is another thing I'm interested to see uh but then of course, Clint, after he sees this, he's like, all right, well, clearly this is meant for me and it's like a message for me. So my family is danger. I need to get them out of here. Again, there's his daughter, Lila Barton. Um, and he just tells her like, oh yeah, I'll be back. I won't be gone too long. One interesting thing here you see though, is that he does have his hearing aid, which is something we haven't seen from Hawkeye at any other point in the MCU so far, uh, but it's something that actually happens in the Matt Fraction run, which again is what this series is based off of, uh, where he actually loses his hearing. So I'm not sure if it's, uh, because this seems like it's pretty early on in the series where he's sending his family away. So I'm not sure if maybe it's just a natural thing of like he's getting older, he's just losing his hearing, or if maybe there's going to be some sort of battle that ends with him losing his hearing. I don't really know for sure, but uh, definitely interesting that we do know for sure that it's confirmed that that is going to play a role in this series. And again, he just sends his family way you know making sure they're all safe and everything and you know he's just keeping up that happy face like oh yeah everything's gonna be fine but now it's time to get down to business so we get this great edition of the marvel studios logo with like the uh spiral circle around it that looks so good and then we get to see who this ronin is who this fan Ronin is dressing up and that is actually Kate Bishop again played by Haley Steinfeld. She is literally um she she's a number one fan of Hawkeye. That's how her character has been described for this series. Uh she's like a 21 or 22 year old girl who is just obsessed with Hawkeye. And I mean like good for her for looking up to Hawkeye instead of someone like Iron Man. So um, yeah, she's going around. I don't really know how she got this outfit or like why she's doing it, but clearly she's trying to get Hawkeye's attention and well, it works because he goes after her and he sees that, oh, it's, it's just some girl. Um, and then she gets folded into the main storyline of the series and she becomes kind of like his protege. And we see most likely by the end of the series, he's going to pass on the mantle and pass the torch to Kate Bishop because in the comics, she doesn't go by a different superhero name. She's just... Hawkeye. So, Clint Barton, like I said, he's been trying to retire for almost a decade at this point. So, wouldn't surprise me if he finally gets that chance to retire. And now we have Kate Bishop taking on the mantle. So, we get some training montage ish here uh, where we see her shooting an arrow with a tennis ball on it. And you see that just flying through the air. And she definitely needs some work. I mean, she took out the whole clock tower. Uh, but somebody here is sneaking up on her with a flashlight. I'm not sure if that is Clint Barton or if maybe that's some sort of villain. Don't really know for sure. We get a nice interaction between the two here in this shot um, and that shot as well. Th this is another thing I'm really excited to see is just like the banter and like the relationship between these two characters. Like, I, f I feel like just based off this trailer, we didn't really get much from them as um, partners, but like... I can already tell that they have great chemistry and I'm so excited to see that. Um, so then again, you got that Christmassy vibes here. Um, you get to see that Hawkeye still has his tattoos that he got during the time jump in Avengers Endgame. 
and just a nice shot of Haley Steinfeld of Kate Bishop, who, by the way, is such a perfect casting for this role, and also Haley Steinfeld is my celebrity crush, or at least one of them, so I'm really excited to see her join the MCU, especially because then we've got another one of my celebrity crushes in this series with Florence Pugh as Elena Belova, but we'll talk about that more later. Uh, so then we get our first look at the Tracksuit Mafia, one of the main adversaries, or at least adversary groups, in the Matt Fraction run of Hawkeye, um, where that's, I mean, that's pretty much what they are. They're like a mob boss gang type thing. They're a mafia, and they all wear a bunch of tracksuits, and they're kind of weird because all of them are like super, like, almost like surfer dude type vibes they're always saying like bro and like they they literally say bro in every single sentence so it's like yo bro you good over there are we gonna go take down bro hawkeye like bro you know that was kind of a bad example but yeah that's kind of their whole thing in there they're pretty weird but they're gonna be looking like one of the main villains in this series but of course somebody's probably hiring them there's probably some bigger evil force at work here uh hawkeye is just he's getting beat up this was another thing again referencing back to the matt fraction run where he just gets beat up a lot like you see throughout that run he has like bandages all over his face bruises and scrapes and they're continuing that in this series. So he's going to go through uh, some battle damage. You have him being maybe interrogated here by the tracksuit mafia. This, I believe, is possibly Ivan, the uh, leader of the tracksuit mafia from the comics, um, just based off like his facial hair and stuff. So there's that. This holiday season, and I love how they incorporated like uh, like the arrow of the H like they have for the logo of the series. Um, looks like you've got um, the tree lighting in Rockefeller Center um, in New York City. The tracksuit mafia are, looks like, attacking um, Clint and Kate. Uh, but then we could see Vera Farmiga's character, who is going to be playing Eleanor bishop who is kate bishop's mother in this series um and she uh she's not a very good mother there's a reason that kate is going around and just being super rebellious and everything because she didn't really grow up in the greatest environment and her mother is actually a villain in the comics and actually has ties to the character of specifically Madame Mask, who is a character that has been rumored to be appearing in this series and could possibly be one of, if not the main villain of the Hawkeye Disney Plus series. Now, one interesting thing here, though, is that we haven't heard any rumors of who could be playing Madame Mask, so I have a theory that maybe maybe Vera Farmiga's character is Madame Mask, because in the comics, like I said, they do have a connection where I think it was just like they were working together or something along those lines. So maybe they'll just retcon some things here. Well, well not retcon, but like change things from the comics and just make it so that Eleanor Bishop is Madame Mask, which honestly, I don't think would really be a big deal. And I could totally see being a possibility in the series. And Vera Farmiga is a great actress, so I feel like she could pull it off. Then we get to see that great shot of Rogers the Musical, because of course, and we've got just some great stuff here this looks like the final battle of avengers uh you've got of course steve rogers there um i think that's supposed to be the hulk uh like some chitauri over there uh that's maybe bruce banner loki and thor um up top you got hawkeye and black widow maybe iron man more chitauri soldiers so yeah we got uh, some great stuff here going on with rogers the musical and again Based off the shot here, does look like we are going to be getting full sequences with these characters, which honestly, bring it on. I think that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, the best gifts. And then we get to see Lucky, Lucky the Pizza Dog, another big part of the Map Fraction run. Um, so we're getting a dog. Uh, I mean, what could, the, can this series get any better? I mean, it's first of all, it's a Hawkeye series. Then it takes place during Christmas. It's introducing Kate Bishop. You got all this other crazy stuff going on. And we got a dog that loves pizza. What? Like, that's just, like, the coolest thing ever. And his name is Lucky. Um, one unfortunate thing about him that I think, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell here in this screenshot. It is a little blurry. But I do believe that he is missing his eye. And that actually is something from the comics where Hawkeye, uh, or, or Lucky, uh, he actually did have an injury with his eye. And that's when Clint actually took him in and made him his own pet. So, um, definitely cool to see that they're... Uh, bringing that in from the comics. I mean, I, I 
feel really bad for Lucky, but um, nice reference to the comics, I guess. Uh, and then we get this interesting shot here where we have Ronin um, with a sword, and everybody around him or her is like cheering them on. And the question is, of course, who is this? Who is in the Ronin suit in the shot? Because it could be Clint Barton, it could be Kate Bishop, or it could be somebody else. Because we see later on here that we have Clint Barton and he is not wearing the Ronin outfit and it looks like maybe this could be even some sort of like reenactment of like a medieval battle or something like that so I'm not sure if that is Kate Bishop in that or maybe Echo aka Maya Lopez uh we'll talk about her later though uh so then we've got Clint and Kate just going on some really cool super spy James Bond style missions here comes with a bow uh at of course what they were saying before uh, this is back before to a shot we saw a couple minutes ago uh, with the tracksuit mafia attacking Kate and Clint um, at the Rockefeller Center, the skate, the ice skating rink and everything. Uh, so we get this great shot here. I love that. And then we get to see Alakwa Cox's character, again, who I just ta mentioned a few seconds ago, a.k.a. Maya Lopez, a.k.a. Echo, because that's her powers in the Kongs, is that she can kind of, in a way, echo people's movements, kind of similar to Taskmaster, where she can uh, replicate some different fighting styles and fighting moves, and this is going to be a very interesting character that I'm excited to see introduced in the series, because, um, first of all, she is a Native American character, and she is deaf, so she is going to be our first deaf superhero in the MCU, and she's actually, it's already been announced and confirmed that she's getting her own spin-off series on Disney+, Plus with Echo, which I'm so excited to see, so I'm really excited to see this character introduced here, so that we can then explore her more in her own series. And then we just get some more great banter here between Clint and Kate. So that's great. Kate, great action shot here. Uh, definitely reminds me of actually Black Widow where you have the shot of um, like Taskmaster shooting the bow and arrow out of the tank and then like the car blowing up. And she's like, oh, you, you, you're telling me that we have arrows more powerful than that? Uh, I, I, I love this shot right here of Jeremy Renner. Like that that's just such a great reaction. Like, oh, no. Oh yeah yeah we do um and then we get this great shot um i think referencing back to the first avengers movie with like that iconic shot of hawkeye as he's like falling off the uh building and he like shoots up at, back at them so that's really cool to see there and then we get this ending moment of the trailer where he's like oh this is some christmas like yeah great way to spend your christmas but also i mean honestly sounds kind of fun and i am so excited for this series guys hawkeye Again, the original series is streaming November 24th. It was a great trailer. Um, I don't remember for sure if it was a teaser trailer or a regular trailer. Uh, it definitely felt like more of a teaser because it didn't really reveal too much that we didn't already know about. But I'm excited for this. This trailer got me so excited again. The Christmas vibes is amazing. But before we end off this video, let's talk about some other things that we do know about in this series uh, that were not revealed or mentioned in this trailer. Like, for example, we have uh, who we believe is going to be the main villain. Uh, Fra Fee is going to be playing the clown, who was the main villain in the Matt Fraction run. He was the one that hired the tracksuit mafia, and he is just... You could kind of think of him as like the Joker in a way. I kind of think of him as like a, a mixture of the Joker and Hush when you're thinking of like Batman villains. He's just a really creepy, messed up character um, that I'm excited to see in this series. Another character I'm excited to see is Tony Dalton. He's going to be playing Swordsmaster, or no, not Swordsmaster, Swordsman. Um, and I believe this is actually going to be for flashbacks to maybe when Clint Barton was growing up in the circus because he grew up actually in the circus of crime. And Swordsman is the one that trained him in not only his sword fighting skills that we see him use and utilize as Ronin, but also, of course, his bow and arrow archery skills as well so that's going to be really exciting to see explored in the series and finally the big one Yelena Belova because that was set up in the Black Widow post credit scene where Val has now sent Yelena after her new target which is Clint Barton because oh he's responsible for Black Widow's death and all this stuff but I have a feeling in this series she's going to end up being uh probably an antagonist I, I wouldn't say like a villain but an antagonist going after Clint Barton and by the end of it she'll of course probably figure out the truth that like yeah that's not exactly what happened she, he's not responsible for her death he tried to sacrifice herself she'll find out the truth and by the end of it they'll become friends and I don't know if she'll like join the Avengers or the Young Avengers or 
something like that, but something's going to happen, and I am so excited for that. Like, everything going on in this series, this trailer just showed me how excited everybody else needs to be for this series, because again, I was already excited, because I love Hawkeye, plus you got all the Christmas stuff going on here. It's going to be a great series, and now, hopefully everybody else is excited for this as well because there's some great stuff going on in the series and i'm so excited for it of course we're going to be doing the weekly episode reviews and breakdowns as we've been doing with what if and loki and every other mcu disney plus series i'm so excited for this but guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below what did you think about the official trailer for the hawkeye disney plus series what were your favorite moments let me know all your thoughts theories and predictions for hawkeye and of course thanks so much for watching please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so i can keep up to date on everything